In this session, we're going to discuss how you can use the object generator to create uh, multiple objects when you've got a single target and a multiple contact regions. So in this case, I've got two different bodies uh, here and here, and we're going to con connect them together with uh, bonded contact. But what I've got, if I use the exploded view, is on one side, I have a single target face. And on the other side, I have a bunch of imprints that were created to create discrete contacts between the flange and the bolted side. So what we're going to do is first we're going to create a name selection of both sides. We, here we have the flange and on the opposite side we have the imprints. And what we want to do is use the object generator to create the multiple contacts between the single target face and those multiple imprints. So to do that, we click on the bonded contact that's predefined. And then we turn on the object generator. And this is done through the main menu. And so from here, we use those name selections for the contact side. So in this case, we choose imprints. For the target, we choose flange. And now here's where we have to uh, think about what we're doing and change some of the defaults. So the first thing we have to do is actually uncheck ignore original. And this is because we only have a single target face. And with that single target face, because that is the original, if we ignore the original, then we won't get any generation performed. The next thing is, is we have to consider the distances between the centroids of the different uh, components being connected. So in this case, it's going to be between an imprint and the centroid of the flange. So to do that, we would you can use the ruler. And if I just quickly sort of scroll down here and I can see the centroid of a flange is roughly here and the centroid is within 70 millimeters. So I can now change my maximum distance to 70. So with the ignore original and the maximum distance for centroids uh, set to 70, what I should be able to do now is click on generate. And you can see here that I have ended up with the full set of contacts defined. Now, the one thing that we will have to do is that because we didn't have ignore original on, we couldn't, otherwise the generation wouldn't occur, is that we need to de delete the original contact and we can easily do that. And of course we can then uh, rename all these and call them bonded and they will be automatically sequenced with numbers, just like so. And so you can see we have 12 imprints and 12 contacts.